YouTube, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. Y'all can see we just chilling in the car today. Oh, my hat look lopsided. But we just chilling in the car today. You know, I ain't been too long, got off work, so I really don't feel like doing my phone. I think it just went out, but anyways, I really don't feel like doing too much today. Yeah, I just got off work and it's Monday. I'm trying to, you know, get I'm trying to get myself into the work week, like, you know, get started in the week. And I ain't gonna lie, this Monday put it on me, bro. I swear. But yeah, so I just lost my train of thought what I was gonna talk about and stuff. I don't know what I'm gonna talk about. All right, all right, all right, I think I'll figure out. But yeah, so man, I'm lost right now. I don't know what to do. I've been thinking about just thinking about if I should keep my car and the money that I have for a down payment, being I got negative equity on this car, the money I have for the down payment part. I was wondering, I'm like, should I just keep my car? and take that money and go you know go to pray and get like a stage three cam kit a complete cam kit for this car and you know just go that route but then i still have to sit here and every day i look down while i'm driving see the high miles on the car knowing that all right now i'm probably stuck with the car for real now because if i really try to take this to the dealership now i'm definitely not getting up for it when they hear the cam the high miles and all that stuff. So, I've been kind of thinking. And I know I want a ZL1 bad. A Hellcat and stuff. But, man, right now, I'm just not the time for that. And being that, you know, I done said it before. Wedding coming up quick. Have to save up. Got it for a house. And, you know, it's a lot. So, but at the same time, it's like, bro, I just want a six speed. Like I've been saying, if my car was a six speed, I really wouldn't even be bothered, you know, trying to get rid of it. I just want to have a stick shift, you know, just to go out and have fun when I do drive the car. You know, it's like, it's just different. You get to engage with the car. And especially like you just riding back roads, going around curves, down shifting and stuff, going, taking the curve. It's just different. So I just a different feeling. So, and I want to be able to experience that. So I think, I don't know, I'm thinking about just going to get like another SS, probably like a 1LE, but of course have the stick shift and the money, you know, if y'all don't know, like you have gap insurance, you trade a car, you could get a check for the remainder balance of the gap insurance that you didn't use. So wherever it is, hopefully it's enough that I get back. If I do trade this car, hopefully I can get enough back from the gap insurance so I can just go get me, um, use that money to get me another set of headers and intake. And that's really all I need to start with, just the headers and the intake. When I put the headers on, I can put the intake on myself. When I go get the headers put on, I'm going to have them, of course, to delete the secondary cats and the rear mufflers. And I'm thinking about just going catless headers. So really no cats whatsoever. And of course, when I get the five, you know, I could sell my primary cats and secondary cats. And that'll give me a good amount of money. Well, really, I could use that and turn around and go get my flex fuel kit. And I could probably, if somebody wanted to, stock you know factory mufflers if i get like the one le or you know they come with the mpp mufflers and stuff i could probably have somebody to i probably want to delete the mufflers right then because i think i'd rather go get me like the boiler exhaust where i could still have the mpp you know function and stuff but once you know i don't know it's like i feel like once i you know i take some factory parts off and like say i take the stock headers off. I can turn around and I'm just in the rain. Let me crank this thing up. Alright, but hopefully y'all can hear me, but 
but like I was saying, make sure my, all right. But yeah, like I was saying, like say if I take the stock headers off and put aftermarket headers on, I can sell the factory headers because always somebody looking for some, you know, factory stuff. Maybe if they sell on their car, so I can take the factory headers, headers, sell that, get some money off of that, put up. I can take the primary cat, secondary cat, sell them, put that money up. And then I can just buy me like the boiler. It, well, I know nobody really not even going to probably want the MPP muffler. Stop one, but I can post it online anyways for sale and just have it there so somebody do buy it. But yeah, so, and of course, once I get my intake, like with the check from like gap insurance and stuff, once I get the intake, put the intake on, I can sell the factory one. Somebody might be needing the factory intake and, you know, stuff like that. And if I do get rid of this car, I'm putting the factory hood back up here because I'm keeping my hood, the Anderson Composite Carbon Fiber, keeping that. And once I put it on the next car, I can take that hood off and sell it. So, you know, it's a whole bunch of stuff. Like, you can just take the factory parts and just sell it and that'll be the money I can just start putting back up so I can buy my flex shoe kit and then later when I get ready to go get it tuned so but really I got a flex shoe kit up here but I don't know how it will affect the car like if I unplug it being that it's already tuned for it so I don't think I'm gonna bother it I'm gonna just leave it up there and I think the flex shoe kit was only like 250 300 at the most so I'll just buy me another one I'm not pressed about that Next thing would be me having to get some lowering springs like coilovers and stuff. I'll probably just save up and get coilovers, which that will probably be what I get if I sell the cats. I know I get good money off that. I'll probably spend, you know, pay to get the coilovers. Man, because I like the way this car sit. That's how I want my, that's how I want the next one to sit. So I kind of got it planned out and I think that's the route I'm going to go. Just get another SS but state shift so I can actually have fun and lay back once I get it and do like you know all the little basic stuff to it then I'm gonna just chill lay back and focus on everything else I got going on uh, I ain't really worried I ain't gonna be worried about going into the motor like as far as like the cam and all that that'll come later on like I done had this car for a year and I finally had went and got it tuned but hand is hurting from holding this, this phone but yeah man that's just what I've been thinking about today which I had texted the guy you know the guy I deal with about the cars he said he could definitely find me an SS quicker than he could ZL1 anyways which I tell him that's probably the route I'm gonna go but I don't want no crazy monthly payments and insurance and stuff like that I'm just trying to think ahead I just go by and blow the horn. Um, I'm just kind of trying to think ahead and how, like, I could just get this, especially if he find me a 1LE. I already have the suede interior and all that. And he just, you know, later on, when I get ready, I could just want to do the cam kit and all that. And I boot, if I throw like a whip up here or something like that. Just throw like a whip or supercharger. And you might as well say I have a, like it'll be a built SS, supercharged SS, but kind of feel like I'm sitting in the ZL1 with, you know, the interior and the way it's built and stuff. But we're gonna see. Uh, I probably, I think, I only know, I think, you know, this car has leather seats, but the one LE has like the Alcantara suede seats, so do the ZL1, but I think the ZL1 and the one LE seats are slightly different, but, you know, I'm fine with the one LE seats. I like them way better than these anyways. They were Carl seats, but if it came down to it, I just change the two front seats out, put the ZL1 seats in it. I just take try to see if I can just take the ZL1 badge off and just put like the SS badge or something. I don't know. But the main thing is just getting the car and doing a little basic stuff, getting back to like where I'm at right now with this car. Yeah. 
but we're gonna see i just keep y'all updated which i just let him know today like an hour ago that i'm gonna just go that route it says yeah well i'm pretty sure he'll probably send me something tomorrow send me a car that he found tomorrow but you know like i said i'll just keep y'all updated yeah i'm gonna go for there so that's really about it for this video i just want to talk to y'all let y'all know what i had planned what's on my mind and yeah so i see y'all in the next video hopefully in the next video he's found me one and it'd be a go for real so we're gonna see though but like i said i keep y'all updated and if y'all watched the video this far thanks for watching stay tuned for the channel because if we get that if we get that six speed it's up from there i'm trying to tell you we're gonna have some fun yeah i can't wait to drive that but yeah so i'll see y'all in the next video